Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here, SITREP is. We are doing air realistic. We're in the Flagels BF 109A. We're on Bastogne. Been climbing about 125 miles per hour. Nice thing about this plane is you can leave the WEP on the whole time. Um, just trying to get the energy advantage. Looks like we have it. The CR 714 was potentially a problem, but he dove. I'm going to let him go and just make sure that we get the energy advantage on everybody. Um, so 109A, it's the it's a 109, which is great. Um, it doesn't have the performance of later ones, so this is the very first variant that's out there. Got two guns on it. Uh, let's see, what guns do we have? Two 7.92s. Uh, we're using the stealth ammo here. It is... So BF-109s are typically known for energy fighting, so... They can outclimb. They do very well in a dive and then holding speed in a climb. Um, we're ready to dive below us. This one, though, unfortunately, because it's an early variant, it's just got uh, two arms on the propeller. So you're not going to get the performance you can later. Let's go ahead and cut our engine dive on the Fury. Looks like he's going to be set up nicely for us. Good hits. Go ahead and turn our speed back into altitude. Uh, by the way, up against America, Great Britain, and France. This F3F's hanging himself up. Can turn down that kind of an opportunity. Well, you can if you miss all your shots, I guess. Alright, I want to stay with more energy than these guys. Let's see what the CR-714 does. If he continues to climb, we should be in good shape. Unless he does that. Let's get back after the F3F. Uh, you know what? Let's go help out with the 510. He's got that energy advantage over our 112. Make sure we slow his roll. Just go and climb a little bit. Stay around 150 miles per hour. He can outturn us. Looks like he wants to head on. Oh, his engine's out. Could have let him be. Didn't notice it until we were already shooting at him. Um, so yeah, so this one doesn't quite hold its energy in the climb as well as the later ones will. Um, but it is your kind of first start at this energy fighting for the uh, German lineup. So be pretty effective. Definitely don't like that D371 in front of us. Really glad that he's diving right now. Looks like we have a numbers advantage in the fur ball here, 5v3. Let's go ahead and take advantage of it. Start off with a thousand rounds, um, just down to 740 now with a couple kills. I know I think I said it already, but I love the fact that you can just wep all day in this thing. A lot of later 109s will burn up their engines pretty easy. This one just doesn't seem to care. All right, Gladiator's down. 371's doing his thing. He might be RTB. Their base is right there. Yeah, he's getting chased by a Stuka. So let's see what the SB2U's doing. We do have front guns and a back gunner, so we're going to try and approach from the side. Which means we don't line up where, with where he is. We line up with where he's going. Two hundred sixty miles per hour. We're catching him. Just keeping half an eye on that Hampton. See if he gets cocky. He's got front guns as well. It right, looks like SB2 is going for the right-hand base here. We'll just continue our intercept course. He might get bombs off, but that's all right. Not going to do that much damage. All right, so he's getting low. We're catching him better now. Again, not going to approach from directly behind him. Going to approach from the side. And then we'll try and stay below his gunner once we get behind him. Good hits. He's down. All right, let's see who they have left. Just the Hampton. 
Let's go ahead and see if there's some ground targets we can take out. I'll check back in with you guys when we're over there. Alright, so we got close to the ground targets, but the Hampton decided to become a fighter. Not a bad decision, considering that we've got a Stuka and a BA-65 over there that are just focused on grounds. I'm going to set us up for an intercept course if he goes RTB. He's got back gunners and front guns, and he's down. That'll do it. So yeah, a few of us ended up with three kills on the team. Um, can be pretty effective, especially in their RB. Just make sure you get that energy advantage to start. And the guns actually did pretty good considering it's just the uh, two 7.92 millimeters. So um, let's take a look. We ended up with three air kills. Ended up with third place. Two of our guys did three air kills as well, so they did well. And uh, that'll do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.